Uh, it was very simple. Uh, I was very interested in coming back to Le Mans for the 100 year anniversary. Uh, so I did everything I could to find a ride. Obviously there was an opportunity with Nicola Pierre and Cool Racing. And we talked in Daytona, after Daytona 24 hours, uh, briefly, in, in between sessions. And uh, a few days later we agreed on, uh, on, uh, on working together. You know, actually coming back to Le Mans felt very emotional. I love Le Mans. Uh, you know, it's the first race I saw as a kid. Came with my dad, uh, he was driving a Renault Express. And uh, we drove and sat in the Union de Air watching cars go by and that's where the passion of racing, well, I already had the passion of racing but that's where the fire started. So since then obviously a dream of mine was to be a race car driver, a uh, dream was to go race Le Mans, I did. And then I got to compete for the win in Le Mans, uh, but finished second. So, uh, so I haven't finished business and uh, it's been too long, conflict on, the, on schedules, but uh, I'm back. Well, the LMP2 category is actually really interesting, and that's one of the reasons I was really uh, into this coming back in LMP2. First of all, I have uh, a little bit of experience with the LMP2, uh, with, back with Penske in uh, 2017. Uh, obviously, different power level, but the car is very nice to drive. Um, you know, great braking, great stability from the aerodynamics. Um, I didn't know the Goodyear tires, so I'm discovering this this week, but overall, um, it feels pretty familiar to me. Um, the biggest thing is how competitive uh, LMP2 is. Uh, it's very similar to the level in IndyCar racing right now where you're fighting for a tenth of a second, which is, uh, which is pretty amazing on the three and a half minute track. Well, the hypercar traffic is uh, definitely something new to me. Uh, I'm not used to getting past this fast. So uh, it's a bit of an adjustment, but the system that uh, the ACO has, has come up with the blue flag system in the dash panel, the yellow flag system is actually very useful. It flashes at you, it gives you a warning that something's coming behind. Then you look and then if you, you know, you just try to understand the speed delta between cars and you know what kind of car it is coming. So uh, yeah, it's just practice, quite frankly. You just, the more you drive on the racetrack, the more you learn these little subtleties. Uh, it's awesome to be back on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm part of an interesting lineup with uh, Rashad and, uh, and Vlad. They're both extremely competitive. Um, it's a pleasure to be with young kids that um, don't ask themselves any questions, but just, uh, just drive. And I'm really excited about extracting the best out of their qualities, which is obviously they have a lot of speed and they also have this freshness, which is very interesting. And on my side, I'm going to bring all the experience I have from endurance racing and, and, and try to help the team as much as possible to uh, make sure we cover every single details before the race. Well, the biggest challenge in Le Mans for me is uh, adapting to this uh, LMP2 car, uh, adapting to the tires, adapting to a new sitting position, a new environment, uh, adapting to the hypercars going by me, and, uh, and the speed difference with the GT is quite different to what it used to mean for me when I was driving for Peugeot here about 12 years ago. So it's just readjustments, but um, it takes a little bit of time, but I'm sure I'll be there very soon. I, I honestly, personally, don't have a goal. Obviously, I want to win. I don't come here to be uh, at the back of the pack, but um, I think you've got to be realistic, and being realistic is just focusing on my own job. My job is to uh, bring my A-plus game to the team, don't put any scratch on the car, number one. Number two, be competitive. Uh, number three, uh, be consistent um, and make sure there's no penalties. You know, that's, that's my goal. And then I'm going to try and try to infuse my teammates with a, a similar approach and I want to see what their approach is and with that, we should be a great team.